ओके नॉर्मली व्हेन वी कम टू सी सी इज लाइक फंक्शन ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज मींस इट इज द कोडिंग एंड ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डू विद फंक्शंस अलोन ओके एंड द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ uh the program or whatever it be is going to start with a main function when it is when it is in c when you come to c++ or java they are object oriented means the whole programming will be in objects and classes alone okay and the execution is going to start from the class which contains the public void main method okay if that method is there from that class the execution going to be start when when it is oops means object oriented programming language c++ java we know they are object oriented programming languages and the whole coding will be in form of classes and objects only we can't implement uh, uh, functions separately everything should be inside the classes and uh, objects itself okay when it is when it is object oriented programming language what is the advantage with python is python is a function oriented programming language object oriented programming language overall python is general purpose programming language okay you can use functions alone without functions also you can write script uh, you can use classes okay so overall python is general purpose programming language okay and object oriented programming language means i already told the whole uh, programming will be in, in format of classes and objects so then we call that as object oriented programming language okay what we are going to do all the data in this oops concept all the data and functions we are going to wrap wrap i think you know wrap means what we are going to do we are going to keep inside a single unit okay very what data means nothing but you can consider as variables okay and functions everything we are going to put in a single unit called class okay this is the main concept of oops so what we are going to do we are going to wrap or bind or we are going to put on the data on the functions inside a single unit okay and so that no other data access the data so we are not allowing any other part of the code to access the data that inside the classes and objects okay only if you have created a class means if you create object so that you can access the data otherwise no other parts access the data when it's come to oops understand what's meant by oops object oriented programming language all the programming will be in the format of objects and classes what here we are going to do we are going to wrap or bind or put the variables and functions inside a single unit okay practically we can see how we can implement that okay so just remember what is oops okay the coding will be or the programming will be in the format of objects and classes alone okay there are uh, five important concepts in oops one is class and objects polymorphism encapsulation inheritance these five concepts we have today i am going to start with classes and objects today we are going to discuss classes and objects okay first let us see what is an object <clears throat> uh everything okay first of all everything in python we can consider as an object alone okay even if it is string i have python i have wrapped that inside double quotes what it is means that is a string okay what is the object means everything we can consider as an object and object is going to has some behavior some attribute some state okay so try to understand everything in python or uh, whatever it be in real world we are going to consider as an object for example if you consider a bird well, how you can describe so i am going to consider uh, if it has wings if it has two legs then only i am going to consider that as a bird means it's going to has some properties like wings legs eyes 
and uh, if you want to tell uh, whether the the thing is a human being or not how we are going to tell that uh, thing you should have two hands two legs two ears two eyes means what are they they are just properties to identify that okay so everything in the real world we can consider as an object a chair a table a human being a bird a vehicle whatever it everything we can consider as an object in the real world and the same time here one more important question they will ask you in interviews how you can say everything as an object in python because in python we are going to consider everything as an object okay so first i will just explain with string okay i have one string called python okay so what are the methods available for that upper lower we discuss number of methods what it is means that methods are nothing but that has some properties that's why we all call string as an object as well okay floating numbers what it is means it's going to have some decimal uh, so there will be some properties for that to describe what it is so those properties are there which describe about that object okay so that overall object is going to has a state and behavior okay and everything in python or everything in the real world we can consider as an object okay so it's going to contain three uh, how to say uh, like you can consider as three attributes or whatever it be first one is state okay state is nothing but we already told properties okay properties so it's uh, the state of the object is decided by the attributes okay if it has wings we are going to consider that as a bird if the uh, person like any human being has two legs two hands like that we are going to consider those as a person and uh, a chair chair going to have some attributes like like four legs like that so based on their properties we are going to define the state if in case of vehicle what it is has it's going to have some tires some engine so based on that properties we are going to decide the state of the object means what kind of the, that thing belongs to whether it is human being or whether it is vehicle or whether, whether it is bird okay just we are based on their properties we are going to define the state then behavior okay for example <clears throat> i'm considering human being as an object what is a the behavior they can walk human being can walk human being can eat human being can do any some work right that is nothing but the behavior the action performed by the object you can consider as a behavior okay or a response from the object you can consider as an behavior that is nothing but action performed by the object as a human being i can walk if you come to vehicle it can move stop horn so those things you can consider as a behavior that is nothing but action in when it comes to oops we are going to consider that as a method okay when it come to oops what you are going to consider how you are going to consider the action method we are going to call that as a method okay an identity <clears throat> what the thing is here uh, we are going to create objects with unique name so for one class uh, i can create uh, multiple objects and in if you come to normal sense um, chair so the only unique name chair has unique name chair that is unique and other things you can't consider as chair right so if there is door door you can't consider as chair right so each object is going to have unique name that is nothing but the identity and one object can interact with other object that is there and i am a human being i am an object my brother is an object i am going to communicate with him so just i am telling with real time examples as well try to understand everything you can consider as an object okay is it clear about objects or do i need to repeat again clear ma'am sir okay 
and then we can come to class okay a class is nothing but collection of objects okay so for one class we already discussed for fun one class we can consider number of objects how to say i have bird as a class okay parrot is an object dove is an object sparrow is an object see bird is a class for that you have number of objects when it's come to vehicle okay vehicle is class for that you can have um, bus is a vehicle right car is a vehicle bike also vehicle so for one class we can have multiple object and finally what we are going to tell a class is nothing but collection of objects okay and sometimes we are going to tell a class is blueprint of the object okay i will tell you what is meant by blueprint here so you are going to construct not only you some engineers they are going to construct a building or a house whatever it be they are going to give you rough design right rough design okay this there will be here so here will be the kitchen here will be the bedroom like that they are going to give you the design right so class is also nothing but a design for the object okay how it's going to be okay that's why we call class is blueprint of the object okay so based on that we are going to create the object based on the class structure we are going to create the object and overall what it, what is what is we are going to tell it is collection of object and it is a blueprint of object and finally class is collection of variables means nothing but data and the methods data means you can consider as attributes itself so class is collection of attributes and methods and class is collection of objects as well and class is blueprint of the object as well okay <clears throat> is it clear guys what is meant by class is it clear can i proceed further or uh, do i need to explain again so okay so here you the guys need to remember few points when you are going to create a class what is the first point classes are created by the keyword called class if you want to create a class you need to use the keyword called class okay then you need to uh, if the if the like for example if there are any variables or properties or attributes you need to declare them inside a class okay and if you want to access those attributes you need to use dot okay when whenever you create a object so that there you can use i will once we come to the programming we can go there but just remember we are going to use dot to access that attributes okay and this is the syntax actually c should be small okay so class is a keyword and then class name and remember in whenever you are going to give a class name in the first letter should be capital okay class keyword it is normal all in lower case but when you are you are going to give class name that's up to you you can give any class name based on the requirement you can give any class name okay but the first letter should be capital in the class name and here you can in body you can do whatever the data you want like you can take any attributes or you can define any methods that you want that's up to our requirement that's just here i am showing the syntax okay so just we can create a small empty class we can create so uh, how we can create a empty class how we can create a empty class there is one statement previously i told class class name ma'am no no 
uh, any like uh, whatever it be a method or class if i want to leave that as empty okay i told one statement we can use if i want to uh, create a empty class or empty method we can use one statement we can also call that as empty statement what it is pass right we already discussed pass why we are going to use pass pass is nothing but empty statement and what is the requirement of that maybe in some scenarios i need a particular class or method but in that particular scenario i no need to do anything with that class or method but as per syntax or as per structure i need that so in that cases we can use empty statement called pass so that it going to do nothing just it's going to create as a empty class or empty method okay so this is my class and what is my class name base and just i am creating nothing empty so how we can create an object means here you can see you can take any object name no issues and this is the way of creating the object okay this is the way of creating the ob object name class name so as of now i am creating empty class right so I, here i am not passing anything so this is the way how you can do and for example inside this you have one method called function so that you need to remove pass here and what you are going to do print hi welcome to python okay so just what i did here i created a class called base and inside that just i am creating a function and what i am doing with that just i am printing one statement okay so if you want to access it how you can do i told we can use dot and what is the object i created for this base base class object dot fun okay so just we can see how it's going to work one simple class we are going to do here sorry here i need to take self i will tell you what is the purpose of self here see it's printed right hi welcome to python so what i did here i created a class called base inside that i created a function means nothing but a method i created and inside that just i'm printing one statement hi welcome to python and then what i did i created the object for the class base and then i am accessing or i am calling the method that inside a in class with the help of object that created for the base class okay and you can create number of objects second time i am creating <clears throat> obj1 dot fun because we already told right a class is collection of objects so it's going to print you again so for one class you can create a multiple objects but object name should be unique okay this is how we can create a simple class okay now i will explain you what is self okay self what is self okay <clears throat> first we can consider self as an object okay remember self as an object or instance of the class so why we are going to use self means 
we are going to use self keyword to access the attributes and method inside the class okay we are going to use self to access the attributes and methods inside a class with self keyword for that purpose we are going to use self okay very important question what is the purpose of self okay what is the purpose of self self is used to access the attributes and methods of a class okay even normally uh, if there is a uh i like i no need to pass any parameters to a function at that time we no need to pass just we are going to create empty function right when when it case of normal without oops but even if you no need to pass any parameters to the method inside a class self is mandatory parameter that should be pass self is mandatory parameter that should be pass remember understand yeah. understand or not why we are going to use yeah, self is used to no sorry so there is no default thing anything like that this so is something like mean. default you can consider in oops when it come to oops concept and inside a class if you are going to create a um how to say create a method self is mandatory if you use without self that will give you an error like this type error so self is mandatory even if you no need to pass any parameters but self should be passed when it come to oops concept okay is it clear dakshini yeah ma'am okay now this is one basic program tomorrow we can go in depth with the constructor okay is it clear guys i can tell that as well but uh like which is what is attribute here uh, we, this is method and what